if you're getting a P0335, a P0340, a P0345 on your second generation Infinity FX35, this video might be the one for you. I'm just going to point the locations of your camshaft sensors and replace the crankshaft sensor. Let's get into it. The engine cover is held on by five 10 millimeter bolts. There are four camshaft position sensors, two on each side, with the driver's side being easiest to access. The part number for this sensor is 23731M as in Mike. Look to the rear of the heads on the top and you'll see two sensors able to be removed with a 10 millimeter socket. From there, we're gonna move to the passenger side rear of the heads. We're gonna remove one small vacuum line going to the throttle body. We're gonna tuck this hose to the side so we can better access one of the two sensors located in this area. Both these sensors are also part number 23731M as in Mike. To remove the connector on the top sensor, you also have to remove the gray connector that's located in between the two sensors. Now that we know the location of our four sensors up top, we're gonna to remove the more difficult crankshaft sensor located next to the bell housing on the passenger side, part number 23731T as in Tom. For better access to the crankshaft sensor, you might wanna remove the intake tube going to the throttle body. One 10 millimeter in the center, and two flathead screwdrivers on each end. This one, I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to remove it. Once again, a 10 millimeter deep socket, an elbow adapter, and a socket extension. Oh, and lots of patience. While removing the crankshaft sensor is not difficult, it may take a few tries because it is in an awkward position and the reason why I'm using the tape to hold the adapter in place while I try to fit it over the 10 millimeter bolt. Here's a snapshot of the bolt because you won't be able to see it while you're sifting around. Once you have the bolt loosened, Use a magnet to completely remove it from the area before removing the sensor because what you don't want to happen is for that screw to fall down into the housing. Now we're going to remove the sensor by hand before using a piece of wire to fish it up from the bottom so that we can remove the connector from the sensor. Squeeze the tabs on the end to remove the connector from the sensor. It appears that our seal is missing and could be the very reason why we're getting our check engine codes. But at any rate, we're gonna take our replacement sensor, add a little oil around the seal, replace it, and this job is about done. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until the next video, TR Rehab.